Braben, Granny Smith, Pink Lady. We all know our favourite variety of apple. But with bananas, it's somehow different. Do you know the names of any varieties of bananas? I don't know. No, I couldn't name a variety. Bananas a banana. In fact, there are over a thousand different varieties of banana around the world. And in Britain, we really only eat one. It's called the Cavendish. And the legend of how this became so popular and so famous is absolutely riveting. But peel back the story and you find within it the seeds of its own demise. And if something isn't done, top banana could become no banana. Surprisingly, the history of the banana in Britain kicks off here, Chatsworth House, for centuries home to the Dukes of Devonshire. The sixth Duke, William Cavendish, had a taste for the exotic. In 1829, he purchased a rare banana plant imported from Mauritius, which he described as a most beautiful and curious fruit. In his magnificent greenhouses, the head gardener, Joseph Paxton, set about nurturing the Duke's prize plant, and within a few years, it was bearing fruit. Although bananas were known in this country, to actually have a plant that was fruiting in this country was probably, if not a first, certainly very unusual. Who got to eat them? Uh, the Duke, uh, and it's still the case today. It would have been a very choice, very top end, you know, when special guests were coming, it would have been for those occasions that bananas were used. The Duke and Paxton were immensely proud of their banana, and in 1836 decided to exhibit it at the Royal Horticultural Society, where it caused a sensation. It was decided to name it in honour of the Duke, and from then on, this banana became known as the Cavendish. In 1837, a Christian missionary, Reverend John Williams, set sail for the Samoa Islands with one of the Duke's banana plants on board. From there, the plant spread across the Pacific. Tasty, easy to ripen and to transport, today the Cavendish is the most widely exported banana in the world. Its rise to the number one spot was helped when its main rival, the sweet-tasting Big Mike banana, was wiped out by Panama disease in the 1950s. The disease is caused by a fungus, and a new strain is now threatening the Cavendish. What makes bananas like the Cavendish susceptible to disease is that they have no seeds. They're completely infertile, and so the only way to reproduce the plant is to take cuttings from its roots. But that's clearly a bit of a problem, isn't it? Because it means they are genetic copies, they are clones. The problems are things like diseases. If the plant is susceptible to disease, then it will always be susceptible to that disease. But it's not over yet. An international team of scientists are hoping to use genetics to save the Cavendish. This is a leaf which has the symptoms of the Panama disease on it, which is devastating and killing bananas throughout Southeast Asia now. Does it have any defence against Panama disease like this? There's no resistance whatsoever in the Cavendish. And what's more, there's no chemical treatment which is possible to cure this disease. Scientists are turning to the other less familiar but more disease-resistant varieties of banana for help. Could the Pisang mass from Malaysia save our beloved Cavendish? It's tiny. It really is tiny. Yes, it's very, very small. You see the yeah, comparison in size <laughs> with a normal Cavendish. Now let me try it. Oh! I mean, clearly this is very ripe, but there's, there's a bit of that acidity that you... Yes. Citrus flavour that you only tend to get in the Cavendish when they're pretty unripe. And your challenge is to get all the good stuff out of this one into the Cavendish. Yes, so we want to transfer the useful disease resistance into the Cavendish varieties so that we can continue to enjoy our favourite fruit. Over a century and a half ago, when the Duke and his guests first dined on the Cavendish banana, it was probably beyond the imagination that this rare and most luxurious of fruits would become so popular around the world. This, apparently, is the polite way to eat one. And I'm sure that the Duke and Paxton would be urging on the researchers to do everything they could to save their treasured banana. Thank you.